What is going on YouTube? This is Gavin. So it's Ojoy K. Gavin Landy here with my WWE WrestleMania 32 reactions and uh, review. Now, WrestleMania did break the attendance record of, hold on a minute, I'm going to cancel that, of 101,763, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was that. Um, and also, it, it, was an, it was a decent WrestleMania. It could have been a lot better. Uh, some of the outcomes weren't the best. I didn't really like some of the outcomes. Um, also, um, in the seven man ladder match between, uh, man, it was The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler versus Sami Zayn versus Stardust versus, uh, who else is that? What is that name? I don't even know what the heck that name says. Oh, Sin Cara. I couldn't even read my own writing. And uh, Kevin Owens and Zack Ryder were in that match. I, was, I just keep losing. I was so excited for WrestleMania. I couldn't remember all the names. Zack Ryder did a walk out as a uh, new Intercontinental Champion. Really hyped. I wanted Ziggler to win. Didn't do too well in my predictions, you guys. Um, but it was it was a hell of a hell of a it was a hell of a match. Um, also, um, what Zack Ryder won, it was a great match. Uh, it did not top, in my opinion, did not top last year's ladder match of of the seven main ladder match, WrestleMania 31. I personally think that WrestleMania 31 was a lot better than WrestleMania 32. I mean, it's kind of a tie. I'm not going to say it's better. The main event was a lot better last year, I can tell you that. Um, but, hell, that was also great. And there was also a kickoff sh uh, matches between uh, Kalisto. And um, Ryback, Kalisto walked out the winner. I, I predicted that. I, I'm pretty sure I predicted that one right. With uh, Salida Del Sol after he got a, a Ryback knocked into the second turnbuckle after it was ripped off. Um, it was a, it was it was a pretty good match. It was uh, Ryback did get the upper hand for most of the match, so that that happened. Also, um, what else do we see? Also on the kickoff show, we did see the. Eight Diva Tag Team Match. Um, the Total Divas versus uh Team Team uh Bad and Blonde. Great match. Uh, T Team Total Divas did win the match. Um, who was in that match was uh Paige, uh Brie Bella, Eva Marie, Natalia. That was who was on the. What's it? That was who was on a uh, Team. Total Divas, uh, Team Bad and Blonde had Lana, Naomi, Tamina, and Summer Rae. So, that's who... Oh, and also Emma. So, that that's who they had as well. Um, so yeah, um, Team Bad did pick up the... Team, no, 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 Team Bella did pick up the win. Um, it was, uh, hell, it was a, it was a, it was a pretty great match, um... Um, could have ended a little bit, uh, Brie Bella did pick up the win by using the yes lock, so, that, oh, and Alicia Fox, oh my bad, oh, I feel so bad, Alicia Fox was also in that match, um, as part of, uh, Team Total Divas, also, uh, Team Total Divas did pick up the win after Brie Bella in her last match used the yes lock to make, uh, who'd she make tap out, she made Naomi tap out. And uh, it was a great match. Um, and then the next match on the pre-show was uh, Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray Dudley, the Dudley boys, taking on the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. Uh, the Usos did win off the super kick, but then tables were brought out, and then chaos ensued. And that was that was a pretty decent match as well for a kickoff show. What what I was kind of uh, confused about was that they didn't. I don't think they showed like part of the pre-show on the USA Network, because I tuned in the USA Network, and I did not see the pre-show on, I saw some, like, Criminal Minds or something on, but, um, I did not see the second part on the USA Network, um, but, it was, it was, it was pretty good, um, I, but Kalisto versus Ryback, well, I didn't think that was supposed to be on the pre-show, I was supposed to be on the actual card, but it wasn't, because it got switched down with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, and, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but also, uh, when we got into WrestleMania, actually, I already said that Zack Ryder, this was the first match of WrestleMania, Zack Ryder did win the IC Championship. And then the next match, we saw Chris Jericho beat AJ Styles, which I thought was bullshit, because I don't think, I think Chris Jericho, 
I'm pretty sure Jericho's leaving, um, like, tomorrow. I think he's leaving to go on, a, like, to tour with his band again, and he's beat Styles. It was a great match, great, a lot, a lot of finishing moves, was kickouts, uh, and then Jericho, off the uh, phenomenal forearm, caught AJ Styles in the, uh, cold breaker, and picked up the victory. Uh, it was, it was a pretty good back-and-forth match. It, I wanted AJ Styles to win, but... Hell, oh, for I'm reading off the reactions, so I don't forget everything. And I'm like, oh, off the review, the, off the results, and I'm like, wait, I I literally wrote this down before the match even happened. I put AJ Styles beats Chris Jericho because I was so hyped and I was so confident that AJ Styles was gonna win, but Jericho won, so I had to go back and change that. So it was a great match. Um, also the Battle of Supremacy, which is the League of Nations, which is Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus, Rusev, and King Barrett. Who took on the New Day, which is Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston. They had an awesome entrance with the Big Booty O cereal. I was kind of confused on how they did that because the box tipped over. I'm like, wouldn't they have fell? But it was, it was, God, it was a great match. Um, that was also a pretty good match. But I did not like the end. I, like I should, the tag team title should have been on the line instead of just being the Battle of Supremacy. And the League of Nations picked up the victory, and then the King Bear grabbed the mic. And when King Bear grabbed the mic, he said, oh, nobody can beat us. And then you won't even believe what happens next. Mick Foley as Cactus Jack, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels all returned to take out um, the League of Nations as uh, King Barrett was actually pulled down off of the apron and was attacked, was attacked by the New Day. It was either King Barrett or Russo. I'm pretty sure it was King Barrett. And then... Uh, Low League of Nations afterwards, after they were attacked, Woods came in, uh, Xavier Woods and the New Gay came in and started dancing and everything, and, hell, um, then Xavier Woods got stunned, I knew that was gonna happen, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I was actually watching with my friend, um, you guys might know him as a stinger uh, on EBW, um, we were watching, uh, the matches, me and my friend Kyle, so we were watching those matches, and I, I really wish we filmed our reactions, we were just like this for a lot of the matches. Like a reaction, and then also the next match was I am so pissed off about this match. Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. One F five puts Dean Ambrose out. I thought that this was gonna be a bloody match. I thought that this was going to be one of the best matches. I thought this was gonna be the match that stole the show, but no. Bro, he didn't even get to use the barbed wire baseball bat or the chainsaw. WWE screwed us out on that one, and I just got I was just like, what the hell? I got got so pissed off. Like, I couldn't even explain to you how mad I was, um, which was ridiculous because just one at five in a German suplex, uh, put Dean Ambrose away. Well, there was a ton of German suplex. It was like a 15, 20 minute match. It was, a, it was a pretty good match. I just didn't like the ending of it. But anyways, after that, uh, Charlotte in the triple threat match defeated, um, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks when at the end, uh, a lot of submissions were put on Becky Lynch, but uh, Charlotte did pick up the win and won the new Women's Championship, which I'm, I personally am not that big of a fan of because it's the exact same as the WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Like, oh, let's just get the same as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna, uh, you know, change the colors. Like, I think they just made it taken a replica and just painted it. Like, that's what it looks like. I thought it was going to be... I, w I was really, like, creating. I was thinking... I was making templates of what the championship was going to look like. I was going to make a video, but then I erased it because I didn't think it was going to get enough views. And then... It, it looked nothing like... You know, it looked nothing like what I had down. I had, like, uh, some weird shape. Um, But, anyways, it was a good match. And then this next match, which was awesome... Undertaker versus Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon did an elbow drop off the top of the hell in a cell. 46-year-old man, but through the announce table because Undertaker moved. And it was a it was a good match. Um, at the beginning, he came out with his kids, uh, all three of them, and um, everyone was just in shock when he jumped off and then he missed. And then Undertaker, Shane McMahon was like, "Come on, I will give me some more." And then Undertaker gave him the tube stone and then ended the match with a one-two-three victory. And Shane got stretched out. He was okay, though. I don't think that he really had, like, any, like, serious damage done to him. But it was still a hell of a match. I was, I got so pissed off that Shane McMahon didn't win. That I literally took, I had, I was eating a box of M&M's. I took the box of M&M's. I chucked it across the room and they flew everywhere. I, I don't even think I cleaned them up all. Like, there was a, like, 
there was at least uh like 20 to 30 left in there I just chucked him across the room I got so pissed off and then this next match was the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and no surprises in it except like DDP and Tatanka and all those guys so um Baron Corbin did win. If I knew Baron Corbin was going to be in that match, I definitely probably would have predicted him. And the guy I predicted, which was a long shot, was Fandango. He got eliminated, the first guy. He was the first guy to be eliminated. I was like, oh, fuck, damn it. Like, I was, I was, I got pissed off about that, too. And Shaquille O'Neal was in there. That was, that was pretty badass as well. Like, oh, what the hell? She, like, there was no rumors or anything about that shit. So I was like, oh, my God, what the hell? Why the hell is Shaquille O'Neal in this? And then, after that, um... The Wyatts interrupted The Rock during a segment, and then The Rock uh, got into his gear. Like, he just pulled his uh, tights off and stuff and got in his gear. And uh, he beat Eric Rowan in six seconds. Six seconds, just a rock bottom and ended it. And then after, the Wyatt family got in the ring to start attacking Rock. And then John Cena's music hit. I was flipping out. I was screaming. I was throwing stuff around. I was like, oh, shit. John Cena's back. So John Cena returned to help The Rock fend off... Oh, uh, the Wyatt family. I was so, like, nervous when that happened because there was so much news about John Cena heel turn. I thought John Cena was going to, like, AA The Rock or something. Oh, my gosh. And then the very end, the main event, this was, like, a... Gee, the, the actual pay-per-view, not including the kickoff show, was five hours. It ended It ended at midnight, actually. Um, And the last... Roman Reigns defeated Triple H, and he speared the holy hell out of Stephanie McMahon. I was like, holy sh... Like, that was a wicked-ass spear. Like, I... Like, I thought that she was, like, like legitimately hurt. And then, uh, after a couple spears and a bunch of Superman punches, Roman Reigns did secure the win with no surprise ending, really. But, um, hell, it was it was a decent WrestleMania. So, for all the next pay-per-views, I'm going to need you... I'm going to do this for all the next pay-per-views uh, that are coming up. But in order for me to continue to do this, I need you to like this video. Favorite this video. Share this on every social media platform that is humanly possible. And definitely... Subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you for tuning in my WrestleMania review, reactions, and results. Thanks.